Barbecue lasagna, oh, forget about it. This guy's out of his mind over here. Welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. As always, we've got a great answer to a great problem. What to do with leftover barbecue? Maybe you have leftover pulled pork, brisket, sausage, whatever meats you might have leftovers of. I know, what are these leftovers you speak of? Well, every once in a while we get some. So I've got a bunch of leftover brisket. So I came up with a great idea. We are gonna make a barbecue lasagna. That's right, I love lasagna and I love barbecue. We're gonna combine the two and make something absolutely phenomenal out of just simply leftovers. Let me show you how to do it. This is gonna be something special and it's really simple to do. It seems like a lot, but it's really simple. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna layer a layer of barbecue sauce in the bottom of our casserole this year. We're gonna put a layer of sauce. We're gonna put these noodles. We're using oven-ready lasagna noodles. There's no boiling required. How great is that? So we're gonna, after the noodles, we're gonna put a layer of cheese, ricotta cheese, cheddar cheese, mozzarella, all kinds of stuff like that. We're gonna put a layer of meat. I happen to have some leftover brisket. You could use pulled pork, you could use sausage. Whatever meats you have left over, feel free to use that. Another layer of sauce. Then rinse, lather, repeat. We're gonna do that three or four times till this dish is completely full and just about overloading. Cook it up on the big green egg, bake it, cop it off with cheese. Now, we could just start assembling, but I'd rather get everything ready first. So let's get all our stuff prepped. We'll get our cheeses grated, our onions chopped, everything done this way. We can just assemble it all at one time. It's called mise en place, having everything ready, everything in its place, ready to go, ready to assemble your dish. It's just easier to cook that way. For our lasagna today, we're gonna to be using extra sharp cheddar. And usually I use mozzarella. This one's a quattro formaggi, four cheeses. It's a blend of Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and a mild provolone. Just a little more flavor. Use whatever cheeses you want to. I find with barbecue, the cheddar goes good, and I like the sharpness from the provolone and the Parmesan, so that's what I like. Use whatever cheeses you like to. It's up to you. This is a free world. Go ahead and have at it. Our next thing we need to do is get some meat ready. So I've got all of this beautiful leftover brisket here. Remember that dry aged brisket that we made? If you didn't catch that video, you need to see it. So I'm gonna start with about four pieces here and just chop it up. I'm gonna chop it up real nice and fine. Now you can see I got this into a nice fine chop here. We don't wanna be biting into it and trying to bite whole pieces of brisket. We just wanna get that beautiful brisket flavor in there. Our next step of the preparation process, we're gonna get our ricotta cheese mixture ready. We're gonna start with two cups of ricotta cheese, some garlic salt, and an egg. We're gonna mix that all together to make our combination. I'm going off a rough estimation on the garlic, so you always want to give it a little taste. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh, perfect, woo! I'm going with really thin slices. We don't want this overpowering our lasagna, just a little additional flavor. Now we've got everything cut up and all ready to go, but before we put it together, let's get the grill going and get some charcoal in it. This way when it's all together, we can just put it right on. We are all set our, to start our assembly now. So we're gonna start with one layer of barbecue sauce. You don't need to have that a lot. We just wanna put a thin layer on the bottom. Now these noodles are the coolest thing. They are, like I said, no boil noodles. They're oven ready, which means that they're just gonna cook and soften up on their own cooking in here. So we're gonna put three like that. We're gonna put one across the back here. Perfecto. Now we're gonna give a layer of the ricotta cheese mixture. Again, not a big fat thick layer. Just gonna give a nice coat. Now we're gonna layer some onions in here, not thick. We just, like I said, we just wanna give it a little extra flavor here. We don't want an onion bomb. That was a different video we did. And that's one layer complete. Now another layer of shells to go in here. If you want, you can crack the corners. If, you, if your pot is not exactly square, crack the corners, let it fit in there a little bit better. Just like that. Look at that. Good like anything, huh? Now be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to crack these shells. You want those shells whole. You know why? Because they're supposed to be. That's the only reason I can think of. They taste the same whether they're cracked or not. Now we are shredded cheese again. So we move on to our cheddar portion of the program. I like to use sharp cheddar. You can use mild, you can use medium, whatever you want. I like flavor, so I go with sharp. Now our quattro formaggi. Didn't know I spoke Italian, did you? Oh, Maron, this is gonna be so good. Now, my favorite part, the meat. Another layer of brisket. Again, like I said before a couple times, you can use pork, you can use sausage, and the sausage would be really good in here, whether it's 
you know, smoked beef sausage or regular Italian sausage, anything you put in here is gonna be real good. Some red onion. Oh, I need to get more sauce, I don't have any more. And that one, you could try and overlap them if you can. So much deliciousness in one little pot, oh my goodness. Normally I like to go right out to the edges, but for some reason I'm not doing that today, I don't know why. And now for our cheese layer again. Now we go with the last layer of meat here. We got our meat, now we're gonna do a little bit more onion, a little more sauce. Right, one more layer of this. Forgot that across the top. I'm gonna go with a little more sauce, just cause what the heck. Moisten up those noodles real good. And our last layer of cheese. And our beautiful white cheese. I think we might even just finish it up just like this. Now, like I said, we're just gonna give it a quick cover up with some foil. Seal it nice and tight. 375 degrees achieved. Now let's throw this baby on here with my squeaky hinges. Okay, now the best part about this is that I don't even have to set a timer anymore. Hey Siri, set a timer for 50 minutes. One moment. Well, since we've got 50 minutes to blow, let me just give you a little bit of a recap of what we just did. So we took our Ramatoff, it's a clay enamel pot. The thing is really nice because it actually will heat nice and evenly and distribute that heat for even cooking, really important. So the first thing we did, we laid a layer of sauce, noodles, cheeses, three different cheeses. Actually, if you count the quattro formaggi, you have seven cheeses. Then we went uh, meat, sauce, onions, we got everything in there. We did three full layers and topped it off with cheese again, covered it with foil, gonna bake that for 50 minutes, five zero. Once that's done, it's not done. We're gonna take the foil off of there again, let that cheese brown up. We're gonna put it on for probably another 10, 15 minutes, let that cheese brown up. We might even hit it with a torch. We'll have to see. That's gonna be one delicioso barbecue lasagna. And there it is. Our time is up, that's 50 minutes. So now all we have to do is take our foil off and let this go for about another 10. We wanna get that cheese nice and bubbly and maybe even a little browned on top, which is what we're going for. So, woo wee. Okay, let's see what we've got here, shall we? Wow, look at that. Oh my God, does that look good? That cheese is plenty browned already. I don't even think we need to go anymore. Eh, let's close it up and give it a little bit of smoke for about another couple minutes. Lasagna time, it's ready. So we get this about another 10 minutes or so, and it actually just browned it up just a little bit more. So we're just gonna pull this off and move on to our next step. The next step is the hardest, folks. It's sitting and letting this set up for like 10, 15 minutes just like this, letting it cool off a little bit. It's gonna meld together, it's gonna solidify a little more. If we just cut this open, took it apart now, it would just fall apart like soup. So, gonna give it about 10, 15 minutes to set like this, rest up, congeal, and then we're gonna chow on some barbecue lasagna, brisket lasagna, how does it get any better? All right, kids, it's time. Time for the big reveal, the big barbecue lasagna reveal. That is a thing of beauty right there. And, oh, it smells so good. It's lasagna, forgot about it. This looks amazing. The smells, the different layers of cheese and sauce and noodles in there, absolutely fantastic. This is gonna be one heck of a good bite. I can't even wait any longer. I gotta dive in. That may be one of the best things that I've ever made on this big green egg. I'm not even kidding. It's, it's outstanding. I gotta pat myself on the back on that one. Like, the flavors are so good. The barbecue sauce, a little spiciness. The cheeses, oh, the brisket is so good coming through. I've made this before and it was good. This was absolutely outstanding. I think the combination of cheeses, the different cheeses together, it's got that little tang. Absolutely unbelievable. If you're not sure what to do with your leftovers, I beg of you, I beg of you, try this. Make it just like I just made it. The red onion, you will not be sorry, I promise you. If you're sorry, write me a letter, okay? Let me know, but I don't think you will be. That, I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. I've made thousands of meals on this thing. This may be one of the very best things that I've ever made. I love it, I love it. I can't wait to share this with the family. I hope that you'll do the same thing. I want you to share it with the family. This was so good, I need you to do me a favor. Go down below, give us a thumbs up. 
Remember to subscribe to the FOGO channel. We want to see you back again. We love having you in the FOGO family. So I just want you to know that we appreciate you all. This lasagna, I know it's not your typical lasagna. It's not a tomato sauce and things like that, but it is absolutely outstanding. We're barbecue people. We're a charcoal company. This is what it's all about. Brisket, cheese, barbecue sauce. How do you go wrong? This will make burnt ends obsolete. Anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this anyway. I know I did. I'm going to enjoy this a whole lot more right now. So I'm going to get to eating. You get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. Oh, I can't believe it. Freaking delicious.